Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to improve the way document libraries work in general. By default, when you create a new document in a document library, as I'll show here, go into Documents here and create a new document, then you're asked to upload a document. But if you go into the Files library here and create a new document there, you have a new document, and that creates a new blank Word document. But that's generally not how you want to start working in Word. You want to have the company logo, you, you want to have the right theme on your text and all that stuff. You want to have your company profile on your documents by default. So I'm going to show you how to change that now. And the way to do that is somewhat complex, but um, bear with me. So what I'm going to do now is just go back to the root site here of my site collection. And there I'm going to go into Site Settings and find a section called Site Content Types. There I'm going to uh, create three new content types. One called Contoso Docs. And that's going to be a document content type based on the standard document. I'm going to add that to a new group called Contoso Content Types. And back again. I'm going to go into site settings again. Create another one. Contoso spreadsheets. And again, that's going to be based on the document content types. And that's going to be in the existing group now. Contoso content types. And site content types again. Create and Contoso presentation which is where I want to place the PowerPoints. Now that's going to be based on the um, document content types and the documents. But it's going to be in the existing group, Contoso content types. If I filter by the Contoso content types, you can see I have three new content types here. And what I want to do now is make sure that I have the right Word template, the right presentation template, and the right spreadsheet template for these. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but I'm going to go in here under Advanced Settings. And as you see here, I can upload a new document template. And of course, I need to make a new document template. Most likely, I already have one, but I'm going to create one from scratch here. Blank document. And then I'm going to just go in the header and add a logo there, just Contoso. And then I'm going to change the design of the page. And I'm going to use one of the built-in themes here. Actually, let's do the office one and then um, just modify that theme a bit. My colors, so I can do the let's see the median one. That's beautiful. And then I can change the fonts and use that Calibri. Okay, so that's what a theme is: a set of colors and a set of fonts. So then I can save the current theme. I'm just going to save that on the desktop here, and save that as Contoso theme. And then I'm just going to save this document now. I'm going to save it on my desktop too. That's a Contoso document. And then I can go back into SharePoint and upload that template. Contoso doc. And then I go back to the content types, filter by my Contoso content types and do the same for the presentation, advanced settings and upload a new document template. But of course I don't have one so I'm going to start from scratch here, create a new one, blank presentation and then I'm going to upload this theme, browser team themes. On the desktop I put my Contoso theme like that. I'm just saving it as a regular presentation because when SharePoint uses these content types it doesn't create a new item of, uh, based on a template. It just copies the file that I have, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to save this now as Contoso presentation and back into SharePoint and upload that file. And then we're moving on to Excel. And of course I'm doing the same thing there. New, it's blank workbook. And I'm just changing the theme there too. Browse for theme. There we go. Now we have the right colors in Excel 2. And then I'm saving that on my desktop again as um, Contoso spreadsheets. 
Right, back here. Yeah. And finally, I'll go back and do the same thing now with the Excel one. Upload, browse, and Contoso spreadsheets. All right, now I'm going to apply those to my, my document library. Go that, do that by going into the library and library settings, and under advanced settings there too, I'm going to allow management of content types. And now you see that this by default uses the document content type, but I want to be more specific. I want to use mine, and I'm just going to select the ones from the Contoso content types and say that all these three are available in this library but I don't want the document to be um, there so I'm gonna delete this content type that means that I now can go into documents and when I go into files here and new document you see I got get these uh, selection Contoso doc, Contoso presentation or spreadsheet so now when I uh, do a new presentation and create that there you see that is indeed using this template the Contoso template that I specified and now when I close that file it is of course going to be saved right into the comstrom.com demo documents and there's my presentation now same thing if I create a new uh, Word doc so in Word now it's using the same template and I can put some data in here for example the lorem thing here and then I can just save that close and that of course gets saved into the same document library okay I think that that else we have cre created three new document content types in their own content type group we created new templates we added a new document library we added all three content types in the new document library uh, we have set the Contoso doc as the new default content type. We haven't saved the new document library as a template. Let's do that too. And that's very simply done. Go into the library settings and save this document library as a template. And I'm just saving this as Contoso document library. And I don't want the content in here. I'm just going to click OK. Now that's completed successfully. So if I want to create a second one, I can simply do so by going into site contents and creating an app here and then searching for Contoso and then I have a Contoso document library. So I'm going to create that docs2 and then of course when I go into docs2 and go into files I have these I have these three selections here. Thank you for watching this demonstration.